And next up we have Rock Bison. Uh, he happens to be my favorite character in the series. I, I love his design. Um, this is the box. You have a shot of the figure itself and over here you got a shot of Antonio Lopez which is the obviously his human version when he's not wearing the outfit. Side of the box usual silhouetted shot with the logo. Picture of the toy on this side and here is the back of it which just shows the pose of the figure. It says Bull Tank of the West Coast which is pretty cool. Uh, here's a uh, another shot of him and the logos for Kronos Foods and I think it's pronounced Gyukaki or something. It's some sort of barbecue restaurant that he uh, promotes and here's a shot of Antonio. And here's the figure. Uh, this one's actually my favorite of all of them. It's very detailed as you can see. You got the logos and the horns over here. They're nicely sculpted and the drills look nice. Um, it's a very robotic looking figure. Very reminiscent of Mega Man, at least in my opinion. Uh, here's the back side of it with the hose. And the feet are also die cast and this is a really heavy figure. Like I could probably kill one of my pets by accident if I dropped it on him. It's that heavy. As for the base, you know, you got your standard Tiger Bunny SH figure arts base. It's a darker green than Katetsu's, I believe. And that's about it. As for accessories, when you first get the figure, it really looks like you get a lot of stuff, but you really don't. The drills are actually here. They're not attached to the figure. And it looks like you have more than what you bought, but it's pretty bare. All you have is the extra open palms, which are actually very nice, very expressive. And another one of these hoses. Now the hoses, the hose in the back is removable. You get a short one and a longer one. I guess it's to not inhibit the head movement. I always keep the long one on. I don't see the point of having that one on constantly. Okay. As for posability, I was pleasantly surprised. This guy, he looks bulky and clunky, but he's got a pretty good range of movement. He's got double joints on the arms right here, so you can pose him in any pose that you want like this. And the fists are also posable. This little piece here moves. The head is actually very posable too, as you can see. It's got like a double joint in here. Uh, this came off, but it usually does a lot when you pose the head. Um, torso is also very posable, as you can see. Uh, the legs are good too, because this comes up, and this comes up, and as you can see the legs are fully posable and double jointed. The feet also move a little bit like this. And you can put them in all sorts of crazy poses. I mean, you can have them do a split if you want. It's actually pretty articulated. Overall, I give this one a 9.5 out of 10. It's actually my favorite character, so I'm being a little biased. Uh, it is a really amazing figure. I mean, for the size and the weight of it, it's extremely posable, and it's possibly one of the best figures I have right now. Uh, price wise, from 60 to 70 dollars depending on the rarity it's a very popular series right now like I said and overall this is a very nice series of figures is actually very detailed and very articulated would I recommend them yes and no I mean for standard quality of figures they're amazing if you're not a fan of the series there's no point in getting them but if you like SH figure arts and you like tiger and bunny then you should get them